Thank you for the host, guys. If you host me, I get recommended more, so you're helping the channel. Was isn't that amazing? Help me get viral, yeah. I feel like I'm never gonna get viral. Does that make sense? Probably it does. So I oh, I only have one one goal, okay? I wanna reach a thousand average viewers not more i don't want to reach more oh a hundred is not viral we already had a hundred average many times many times sorry for like a while and then i got banned yeah, that pretty much ruined everything, to be honest. Since then, it's super difficult to go back to that. And also, yeah, so... The ban, basically, my first ban... Um, hurt the channel significantly. Very significantly. One month ago, I've been reaching 400 to 1k viewers. I think, I think it depends on what you stream and if the people want to watch your content. If you do something different, I don't do anything different. With Twitch content can be much cause of how limiting they are. After a while, it's the same 10 things to pick from. I'm kidding. I'm trolling. My God. I like how everybody's like, yeah, Sarah, you do the same thing as everybody else. Have you seen my... Walk and Junk, how are you doing? Thank you for the resub offline, by the way. Um, I was kidding. I do a lot of unique things. This channel is unique in all the things. The fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, Sarah, you know. It's not like you have like a 10,000 fucking overlays and things that are funny. It's not like you are w probably one of the only female streamers on Twitch that has a fucking... Not only, that's not true. But probably have not seen a troll, female troll like me. If anything, only guys. The thing is, people also don't like that. You know why? It's unique. But you know why they don't like that? Because girls have to be cute. Girls have to be cute. They can't be they can't be talking about dicks and stuff like that. Because if you do, you're not being cute. You're being disgusting. Also, it's not that easy. Um you can do you can be unique as as unique as you want. It does not give you the guarantee of anything. Hey Rory, how are you doing? I'm not gonna get a shout out for Rory. Um and for SK2. Basically any content creation, because there's so many of us, is about lots of hard work. And luck. Lots of luck. You have to have the right people find you. There is no way you just... There's so many unique people. I could name a few. I could name a few. Vintendo, Manchild Show, who is actually in the chat right now. Very unique. Um, Clone what? Corp. Danu, thank you so much. Obrigado pelo follow. Sportingista. Hmm. Uh, you have people like Clone Corp. Super unique. Yeah. Um, doesn't have a lot of viewers. Is. Probably a smaller channel than mine. Depends, right? But in general. 
you have who else do you have oh you have somebody like sushi dragon who has been who now has a lot of viewers thankfully but he has been working his ass off for so fucking long like so long so fucking long it's not even funny how long he took to get kind of viral it took him way too long to get him to get kind of viral kind of kit boga also took forever he has been working forever he does one of the most unique things on twitch i don't think there's anybody who does what he does on twitch or at least like at the time that he did it probably there's a lot of people who do the same now i don't know anybody though i don't watch anybody but there's so many people who are unique so being unique on the platform means jack shit okay it means jack shit okay and if you don't conform to people's expectations too it doesn't give you anything either you know it doesn't give you shit the real problem now is twitch you have too much content Well, the problem now is also that, yeah, a lot of people are streaming on Twitch. So viewership gets kind of, viewers get kind of divided. Um, but also nobody should, I mean, some people conform, many people conform to things, to content, so they get a certain viewership. Views are not the most important. Um, and that's very apparent for people that have like, I don't know, 500, 1000 viewers and cannot live off of Twitch or uh, cannot do this full time. It means jack shit. Being, having lots of viewers means jack shit in terms of making it full time. I am lucky enough, in that term, I am lucky. Hi Purple, how are you doing? If you doing well, can I get a shout out for Purple? In that, in that terms, in those terms, I'm very lucky that I can do it full time and that people believe in me and people believe in my, in my content. And I'm very, very lucky in that sense. Um, you cannot force any of those things. You can't force somebody going viral. You can't force somebody making it full time. You can't force any of those. So yeah, there is no golden rule for, for either making it full time or being viral on Twitch or on any platform for that matter. Um, and there's a lot of factors that also go into it. I was getting, I was legit getting, getting there. Um, we saw it, we saw that we could go, we saw that if we want it, we had like three to 400 viewers, no problem by ourselves without any raids, right? You guys remember that? You guys remember that? The moment I got banned, I can't even force that anymore. Like I could force it. There was a time where I could have forced Ooh. things. Hey Tox, thank you for the follow. Denred, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Looking for a Valentine that has a female beard? I have a female beard, I just shave it every day. I can grow it out for you. <laughs> Dynamite, thank you for the follow. Um, the problem is, like, I could force it, I could have forced it, and I forced it sometimes just to see if it works or not. I can't, since the ban, cannot force it anymore. 
I don't know what it is. And yet I get recommended to a lot of people, but what I am thinking is probably I don't get recommended as as as, as much anymore. Oi, conheço tudo bem, beijinhos. I'm just thinking I don't get recommended as much anymore. I still get recommended a lot by Twitch. It's like Twitch loves me and hates me at the same time. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? <laughs> it's like Twitch loves and hates me at the same time. You know? Hey, Gazander. How are you doing? How are you doing well? It's like they keep recommending me, but then they they listen to mass reports and don't really answer me as to why they really answered it. Does that make sense? Telmo, tudo bem, beijinhos. Oi, Luís, tudo bem, beijinhos. Obrigada pelo follow, Telmo. Oi, Snelody, tudo bem, beijinhos. You're live streaming. Okay. Right now? What do you do? Snelody, obrigada pelo follow. We're just talking about Twitch growth. Work the social media network. Eu acho engraçado, Yura. Estás a dizer tudo o que eu já faço. Eu sou tipo, eu estou tipo em todo lado. And you know what the, the very interesting thing is? You know what the very interesting? You're doing Fortnite. Oh, awesome! I also do Fortnite. Ele pensa que nasceste agora, né? É verdade, Lori. Pensa que sim, né? Pronto, olha o que é que queres. Não é, não é que eu faço já isto há tanto tempo, né? Um, the thing is... You can... Bans are very bad for your channel. People told me, Sarah, you've been banned. That grows your channel, right? It doesn't. It really doesn't. It really didn't. It did more harm than anything else. It did really more harm than anything else. My my first ban basically started making this channel go downhill. And the first ban, I didn't even do anything. Like I still don't know what what it was. And I know it was due to mass reports because people because there were a few people that hated me and actually told me they 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 told me they messaged me saying I created multiple accounts to get you banned. And the next and I I, I like laughed it off, right? Next day I'm banned. Just do something controversial, make half of Twitch mad on Twitter. I can't because they will ban me again. Twitch right now is so on top of bans that it's actually stupid. Just like with Muraj, for example. He doesn't know why he has been banned the second time in a row. He does not know. He didn't know why he was banned the first time. He changed his content, he changed his jokes, he changed the way he talks. Three days after, second ban. Without a con like, without telling why, what it is. It's actually stupid. Like legit, I believe if it wasn't for those people who tried to ruin me that I would probably right now be way bigger. Like I would probably be triple or four times or five times the, 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 or maybe even, I don't even know how many people we have. I'm gonna see. We have 46 people right now. I believe if it wasn't for that first ban, that I would be 10 times as big right now. I'm just very, very lucky that I have people that support me monetarily. I'm lucky that sponsors still come through, right? Like I was, 
I was fastest fifth top 50. That's crazy. I was, fa was top 50 fa fastest growing just chatting channels on Twitch. That is crazy. You know how many fucking streamers are there on Twitch? There's millions of streamers on Twitch. That is crazy. Then I got banned because obviously with fame, if that makes sense, comes hate, obviously, obviously. A thing that I learned um, and basically ruined it all.